Hello again and welcome back to my channel. If you're a new viewer, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So my name is Chess. Yeah, if you are new and you don't know where to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram as Jess. I always include links in my description. And yeah, welcome, like I said, welcome to my channel. Um, I like to do daily plan with me's. I like to do plan with me's. Um, flip throughs, whether they're sticker books or my planners, um, haul videos, just, you know, almost anything in the planner's life. So today I'm going to be working on three dailies. We're doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And these are the books that I chose. So if you want to see what I create, stick around. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the dailies. So we're going to be doing Friday, Saturday, let's see, yeah, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I don't know what the actual date is going to be because I didn't write it down on my paper yet. I should probably do that. I'll do that later. Um, so... I have been daily planning for, oh gosh, I feel like over a year now, um, and I just absolutely love it. I do the, I use a daily planner literally every single day, um, and I'm really excited because Happy Planner is coming out with a daily planner for 2022. They're going to be releasing it in four months, um, like a four month planner and then extension packs. I don't know how many months that the extension packs are. We're basically waiting for the preview. Uh, although by the time that I post this video, the preview will already be up, but the, when I'm recording it, I have literally no idea. So like I said, waiting for the preview. Um, so that way I can kind of see how many months that it is because I, I can't wait. And I'm actually excited that they're doing a four month because uh, I just went ahead and grabbed my daily. This is January through June. So you can see how chunky that a six months planner is when it's a daily. Now, and this doesn't even have the actual monthly calendar. So yeah, it will get chunky but I'm excited about that. So, all right, <laughs> I think I kind of got off track. Okay, I'm using the good vibes for Friday, by the way. Um, there's not really like a lot of, like my regular type of quotes that I use for the corner. So I just decided to use that one. Then I'm gonna put like some little icons around it. Um, so like I said, four month planner, super excited about it. And um, I'm gonna plan on using one for both home and work. Uh, so for home, since they're releasing extension packs, I'm hoping that the extension pack is going to be four months as well. So that way I can just get one planner, two extension packs for the whole year. And then for work, I'm going to plan on doing a, probably just one planner to see how I like it for work. Um, plus also for work as well, I won't need, like I won't need exactly 12 months worth and I'm kind of hoping that I can get away with um, like maybe just using the extension pack for the pages, but maybe using like my own cover um, or sorry, my own dividers and such from like other dividers that I saved up. So we'll, we'll kind of see once they release it. Uh, so this is a Friday, so I do have to make sure, so it's not gonna be like a day where I'm super productive with everything just because I do have work dang you work but I do want to kind of include like a lot of cute stuff around so let's go ahead and grab some function 
Um, I love all these little icons. Okay, I don't know if they have like any of the long rectangular boxes. If not, I'm going to just grab some of those other functional boxes. Ooh. Oh, we do have some, but since I've already put that there, that's not going to work out too well for me. So instead, I am going to, I can probably cut this. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut off this, and I'm going to use this elsewhere in the spread. All right, here we go. And I was thinking about just going ahead and actually putting it on the left side of the left, the right side of the left side. Um, oh, I could have used that up there. See, I don't know if I really want that like that. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this right here. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take one of my acrylic graphs and I'm gonna go around it and I think I'm going to use this right here it's like it's the sunflower color and I think that that would look really cute to just kind of border it I guess that's cute I don't know if I can go up all the way. It's kind of covering it up. I might have to do, I might have to do another layer once that dries. I think I'm just gonna go around the whole box. Okay, there we go. And then what I'll do once that dries, I'll kind of go around that blue part again, just to kind of help cover it up and see if I can make it look like a solid yellow right there. Um, and then that way it kind of gives like another little color in between. All right, now I decided I want to use one of these and I'm gonna kind of use it as like Number one, I'm going to cut it in half um, because it's, it's too long. So I am going to, let's see if I can just do this like this. Okay, that works. I'm going to put it right here. That way it'll also act as like a divide. So I can use this part for one thing and this part for something else. And then I'm going to white out. The rest of the word assignments and look it looks like a whole different box and then I'm gonna use this one right here for a header and I kind of realized I need to go ahead and add some function on that side too here there is a header that says do all the things and I wish that they had checklists. Do they have checklist? I do not remember if I saw any checklist or not, but actually I want to go ahead and add in some pink over here. So let's use this sticker. Hello sunshine. Uh, maybe just put it like that, but then you can see it. Okay. We are going to have to do some sticker surgery. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this. Um, no, I'm not. I'm gonna cut from right there and I'm gonna cut right here. And then I'm gonna cut down and Will that be enough? Let's see if that will be enough. I need my tweezers. Okay. 
All right. Um, I didn't even pull up all of the sticker. All right, there we go. I, I think that will do. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I also wanted, I like these little shoe. I don't know what it is. I think the shoe is super cute. Uh, and what I was thinking about, let me find one of my white acrylographs. Okay, so I was trying to take the acrylograph and kind of paint on the other side to help like darken it up. I don't think that that really worked. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut away some of that sticker again. So then that way I don't have to worry about the blue being under it. Okay, that, that will work. And I also want to go to, there is a page with these little icons that are surrounded by the blue. That's what I want. And like I said, I also need to see if I can find the checklist because I thought that there was a sheet of checklists in here. Oh, here they go. I'm going to go ahead and put a checklist down. And I might actually use both this one. And then go ahead and use a yellow as well. Or I'll bring the yellow up there. Let's just go ahead and peel this up. I'm going to put the yellow one first. That way I'm also spreading around that color. And putting that down there. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and back, go back to my yellow acrylograph. I'm going to just go over that blue part to kind of... Perfect. That looks so much better. And I'm done with that. Now... I gotta go back and find that blue page. Oh, it was just, it was just stars. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna put a couple stars around because they're cute and why not? And then let's put like, maybe a heart or two. Again, why not? Oh, that's, I don't want that green over there. And let's use this one right here. Kind of like a pale yellow. All right, that's kind of cute. Um, trying to think if I need anything else and I don't think I do. So I'm gonna consider Friday to be officially done. Now we are moving on to Saturday, which is going to be a fresh start. And this is one that we've got some washi strips that I'm going to use. These are like bigger washi strips too, but I'm going to try to rip it in half. So that way I can put another one at the other side up here. And I was also thinking about going ahead and using one more. Um, I just ripped, I just like got the sticker stuck to itself. So let's just rip it off right there. And let's put this down here too. It's just cause it is, and it's other colors as well. So that way I'm kind of bringing in lots of colors. And I'm gonna put this right there. All right, now let's see if we can find something for the corner. Um, I believe this does have quotes. Oh, it has these quotes. Yeah, let's use one of these. Um, I'm gonna use one that says, find your happy. Because it's true. You've gotta find your happy. And let's use, I just like these. 
like these little decorative dots. All right, next. I, I always forget about these really large quotes. And I love these quotes, but I'm not going to use it on the spread. Um, I'm going to use up the sticker just to use up this whole page. Um, let's see. I'm kind of trying to think. This is a really large box. And I know it's going to take up a lot of room, so I'm trying to be really careful about where I put it so in that way I don't lose function and I still have room for other boxes. So my other thought is using this simply for the gold background so then that way I can just put boxes over it, but I don't think I'm going to. And also, I just got the satisfaction of finishing another sticker sheet. So look at that. I love that. That's two done for the day, by the way. Um, I like these little apples. I'm going to use the apples, but not right now. Actually, I'm going to use these apples. These will be really fun for like to do's. So I'm going to put one right there and I have lots of these. I'm going to put one, I'm gonna put this yellow and blue one, like a mustard and blue, I guess. Oh, there we go. And then I'm gonna put this cream and white. And then I also decided that in place of like my regular checklist, I'm gonna use these because these are fun. I'm just going to go in a different order so that way those colors aren't perfectly lining up. And then what I also thought about doing. Oh, we have the sticker, this big sticker that says today's priorities. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And then we're going to do cream. And then we're doing pink. And I am overlapping. That is so crooked. So this Saturday, I don't know what, um, I don't know what we have going on this Saturday. I will admit. Um, so it is Saturday. It's like Saturday the 4th when I'm recording this. I don't know what's going on beyond tomorrow. Um, or even really beyond Monday. Like I, I, I know that I have plans on Monday, but I don't know exactly what we're doing. I don't know what all I've got going on next week. I just know that I'm really looking forward to my three day weekend and we have a baseball game that we're going to tomorrow. Um, we're gonna go see the Dodgers play the Giants in uh, San Francisco at Oracle Park. So I'm really excited about that. All right, that's cute. And I'm almost thinking that that might be done. I might just leave it at that. I might just leave it simple like that. Because I've got plenty of places to write out things that I need to do. Um, here we go. I'm going to use one of these, actually. We're going to use a sticker. Whoops. That says, Hello Weekend. I am going to use Hello Weekend. And then I'm going to use one right underneath of it that says, um, Let's put it like literally right here. Life happens, coffee helps. All right, I think Saturday's done. That turned out super cute. Um, I absolutely love the Fresh Start sticker book. Yes, it is very much so school themed. Um, but at the same time, it's very, it, it can very much so be used for other types of spreads as well. You don't have to use it just for school. Let's go on to Sunday. Sunday is going to be using the Happy Life book. And... I always like this book just because of how colorful it is and such. 
And I also want this to be a spread that's gonna have lots of motivational quotes. So I'm gonna use this one that says, I share the love and peace in my heart with others. And I'm also hoping, I'm gonna use one of these as well. These, they kind of remind me of like the sun. And I want to find a black quote that can just go right in the middle. Um, or else I was thinking about that one, but that's almost too big. Oops. I guess I could do a gold. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe this choose yourself. Let's try that. All right, we are going to put this sticker first and then right inside, choose yourself. That works, I like it, I think it's cute. And then this blue one that says, I share the love and peace in my heart with others. And then I do want to kind of include some functional boxes as well. I kind of like this. And since obviously, oh, I have a better idea. I'm sticking that on my hand so I can pull this one up. Um, sometimes what I like to do sometimes is, number one, wipe that out, but number two, use this to completely go down the side. And then I'm going to put this sticker down here at the bottom. And I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of having like another functional box or even using these. Um, these are kind of like very, very motivational, um, positive, you know, positive affirmations. I really like these. So I'm going, not going to put that one right there though. So I'm using one that says, I will not worry about things I can control. And today I choose to be free of worry and regret. And then I share the love and peace in my heart with others. That makes me happy. Because then what I'm also going to do. I don't, I don't do a lot on Sunday. So I'm perfectly fine with kind of making this just be motivational. We're using one that says, I am happy. I am kind. And kind of thinking. I am creative. But I'm thinking of putting this one actually off to the side a little bit. Or maybe not, because I can't pick it up now. All right, that's kind of cute, and this will be super functional too. So now I need like my checklist here. So we're gonna do one checklist and then because I really like bringing in a second one that's what exactly what I'm going to do right there and right down here I'm going to put this quote that says I am enough along with a few stars because I love the stars and if you've got them you got to use them So let's go ahead and use one more. Perfect. And then I just need a header. All right. I just, I don't know what header I want to use. I really do like this one though for a lot of the positive affirmations that they have. Here we go. Let's use this blue that just says today. All right, I think I'm going to leave Sunday at that. I kind of like that. It's different. Um, you know, it's it's not like my normal spreads that I do. So let's go ahead, put Friday, Saturday, and Sunday back into the planner. Um, I guess it might help to go back to the page that I'm on. All right, so we've got Friday with good vibes. 
We've got Saturday with Fresh Start and then Sunday with Happy Life. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope this inspires you to use the dailies because I love I love spreading that that inspiration and I love seeing other people use the dailies because it also does inspire me. So if you like this, give it a thumb up, thumbs up, show me some love, and don't forget to subscribe and have a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.